Hi, it's Chantelle here from Fiberific. In this video, I want to talk to you about Chow Goo. For no other reason than I love it and I want you to love it as much as I do. I get asked a lot, why should I buy Chow Goo instead of insert brand here? This isn't a needle bashing video, but from my personal experience from a few different brands, I'm so glad that I moved over to the Chow Goos. Now, you may think that I only like them because I sell them. But that's not how I work. It works the other way around. I like something, so I sell it. A few years ago, an online friend of mine from the US talked me into purchasing some chow goos. She was converted and I went with it. I bought the small stainless steel set as they were the sizes I tended to use. It's 2.75 up to about five mil. I personally don't knit using the, anything larger than a 5mm very often, so it didn't make sense to buy a bigger kit. But I realised very early on that my two other sets were getting no love. I would go to start a new project, and as we've discussed, I'm not a project monogamist, and I would realise I need such and such a size tips, and they would be sitting there empty in the packages for the other brands, and I would literally put the end stoppers on and steal them out of projects so I could use chow goos instead. I decided I need to sell these because other people need to get their hands on them. And that's what I do. Why do I love the chow goos so much? Well, they feel great in my hands. They're really light. I use the stainless steel and it's a brush steel. So it's not, it's not super slippery, but it's still slippy. Does that make sense? Slippy, but not slippery. I have now, the set that I've been using is probably, I don't know, four years old and it still looks new. Chowgu actually laser etch the sizes into the stainless steel so it doesn't rub off. There's no, oh gosh, where's the needle gauge because I can't see what size I've got in my hands. Mr. Tibbles, the destroyer of all cables, he can't eat through them. He chewed through, I don't even know how many of one of my other brands, and I was constantly buying new cables. He had a go with the Chow Goo. I get, uh, I get the red cables, which is a plastic coated wire cable. And he had a go at chewing through, but he gave up and he doesn't even bother anymore. He sits on your lap and just doesn't eat your cables, which is really nice. I also really love the case. The case that they come in is not only super cute, but, it's really compact, like you can put everything you need in it. Basically they come with everything that you need except I pop in a little darning needle, um, a little tape measure and a little tiny pair of scissors and that's it, that's all I need. So when I'm working on projects or I'm going away and taking a couple of projects with me, I can literally zip the case close, chuck it in the bottom of my bag, like it's this thick. You know, it's so small and I have all my knitting supplies. They, it's, everything is all in the case. And so it makes it really easy for you to bring everything. You don't realize, oh, I grabbed the wrong tips or, oh, I don't have the right length cable because in such a small container or packaging, what, what are we calling this? Case. It fits everything really, really easily. Do I think that you need them? I think everyone needs them. Honestly, I think these are, I personally think these are the best knitting needles that I've ever used. And I've used a lot of different knitting needles. I just think that the joins are fantastic. They don't come undone. They're a really smooth join. It's near invisible once you've tightened it up. And you can just, you don't even have to worry about it coming undone. I think the only time I ever had anything start to come loose and I noticed it straight away was in one of my lazy moments where I was just finger tightened it, just tightened it, you know, with your hands. And it was like, oh, I've only got a couple of rounds to do it, it'll be fine. And then I was like, no, tighten it with the key, you lazy thing. Just get it done right and you don't have to worry about it. So how do you decide which of the chow goo suits you? I personally love the stainless steel, but I know it's not for everybody, and so do Chow Goo. So they've got also bamboo, which I think, I was never a big fan of bamboo, but I think it was because I was using a different grade. So you can choose bamboo or stainless steel. 
So there's not that much difference in the, uh, yeah, there's not really all that much difference in the weight. They just both feel quite, like even the bamboo is quite, it's very smooth. I wouldn't say it's as slippery as the steel, but it's, it's very good. I really like it. I've actually got some bamboo tips that I've slipped into some of the extra pockets. So you've got where your tips fit here and then some extra pockets just here that you can actually add extra things into that it's not labeled so it doesn't matter what you put in there. So if you prefer stainless steel or bamboo, it's a completely personal preference. I, I think everyone can knit everything with both. It's really down to the individual. What I tend to suggest for people thinking about the Chowgu interchangeables that aren't mental like me who just buy the set, I recommend that you pick up a set of tips. You can buy the tips separately and you can buy all the cables separately as well and work out what's best for you. The stainless steel come with the wire coated, uh, sorry, the plastic coated wire cables. So straight out of the packaging, it looks like this. There's no kink, there's no memory, it doesn't hold the curve. So you don't have to stick your cables in a jar. You don't have to heat them in the sun to get them to untangle. Now these ones don't kink, so they don't kink up. So they just they just keep moving in the in your knitting so you don't have to worry about um, them curving and kinking. Those cables come with the stainless steel set. The bamboo needles get the, the lightweight nylon cables. So I'm just taking one out of the set here. And they do kink a little bit. See how they do have memory, but they have a swivel. So you don't have to worry about it. Like the weight of your wall will pull that out, but you don't have to worry about it tangling up and doing the tangle because your actual connectors up here swivel. So you don't have to worry about it. It'll actually turn it in your knitting. So again, personal preference. What I would do if I was starting to decide what I wanted, I would buy my favorite tip length that I use all the time. So probably a four millimeter for me. I would buy a four millimeter in the stainless steel because I prefer stainless steel. And then I would buy the three millimeter which is not standard in the sets, I would buy a three millimeter in the bamboo because I want to try it, but it's not going to be something I use all the time just in case I don't like it. Then I would also buy two cables and I would probably buy the 93 centimeter and the 125 centimeter cable, one in the nylon and one in the red. And then you can test them out and work out which combination you like before you go and buy the set so that you can work out, do you prefer the bamboo? Do you prefer the stainless steel? Do you want to get extra cables in the other, like, you know, if you buy the stainless steel set, buy the nylon cables separately as well. And it just gives you a much better idea. With the sets themselves, which set do you buy? Because there's so many choices. There's the five inch tips that come in a small set, which is a 2.75 up to 5 mil, a large set, which is a 5.5 up to a 10 mil, or a complete set, which has everything. You buy what you use. Like, I don't see the point in buying a complete set. If you predominantly spend the majority of your knitting time in one half or the other. So what I've got is the small set, and I now have a 5.5 mil tip that I bought as a separate individual tips, which you can, you can buy all the tips and cables as extras. There's a few little cool gadgets that Chiago have brought out now. There's these little rubber gripper hearts, which make tightening a lot easier. Um, there's an adapter cable now. It used to be large tips on large cables, small tips on the small cables. Um, now you can actually put the large tip, an adapter, and pop it on your small cable. So for people like me, I don't need to buy the large cables if I'm going to use them once in a blue moon, just buy the adapter so that I can just connect it to a small cable. So that is a lot of information, I know, and I've probably missed a lot of important points. So please, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments down below. I've been running this YouTube promotion for, for a few weeks. 
Um, and I've been really enjoying it. I really love the interaction, the questions that people are asking, talking to new people and, and answering questions. So it's been a lot of fun. This week, the week three winner was Unusually Able. You are the winner of the 100 grams of Milky Way yarn. If you can PM me or, or email your postal address to me so I can get your beautiful cranberry prize out to you. Congratulations. If you want to win this week's prize, which is this 100 gram skein of Tadpole, which is a pure silk as well. It's a two ply lace weight. It's approximately 914 meters per 100 grams or a thousand yards. If you want to win this Emerald City, then you hit the like button, pop a comment in down below and make sure you've subscribed because otherwise I can't contact you if you're the winner. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. It's time for you to fill your universe with fiber fun. Off you go. I'll see you next time. Bye.